Hey guys, welcome to Entertainment Talk Nation. This is Rob. This video, we're going to do a review for the first season of Stranger Things. Yes, the Netflix original, Stranger Things. And this was an amazing show. This was great. I love sci-fi. I love weird shit. And this was definitely that. And the ironic, the, the funny thing is this. I, I Look, I saw like a couple of commercials for this show. I really wasn't going to watch it. I wasn't. I was, it just wasn't crossing my mind. Um, you know, I've been on vacation this week. I've been doing a lot of work uh, trying to plan for the channel uh, during this transition where I'm, I'm doing a lot of live stuff. And I'm also kind of somewhat rebranding. I have like a new logo coming. So I've been doing all this work on the channel, plus trying to enjoy my vacation. I didn't stream this week very much like I thought I would because I went out and enjoyed my vacation. <laughs> it was me and my wife went out and we saw Ghostbusters and all this stuff and we went out this weekend. So, uh, so my, this, this show was like in the back of my, my brain. I had like zero, not that I had zero interest. I just, it was like, oh wow, look at that looks cool. And then that's it. Just out of sight, out of mind. So the other night we, it was, it actually was Friday night, Friday night. I had went out, I came back, uh, me and my wife had dinner, and I was like, hey, you know, are you watching anything? I was like, she's like, no. I was like, oh, I want to find something to watch. So I said, screw it. Let me pop this on. It's sci-fi. I like sci-fi. Let's give it a chance. Sucked right in. Sucked right in. And to talk about the show, if you haven't seen it, go see it. Go see the show. It's eight episodes, so it's not a long binge. You could, you know, if you want to do it comfortably, four episodes one night, you know, maybe on a weekend, like next weekend, or four episodes the following night. Uh, I more or less did, I did two and six. Because the first night, I saw the first two episodes and I was hooked, but I was also very tired and I didn't want to fall asleep during the next episode. This was just a great show. It was a great show. It was First of all, it was nice to see Winona Ryder. I've seen her in a couple of movies. Um, the last one I saw her in actually was Dilemma, so that was quite a while ago. Um, and, I, you know, she's she had her hard place where she was going through the whole theft thing and all that stuff. But she did really good in the show. She did really, really good uh, selling herself as uh, you know she played the mom character of one of the boys so the story basically is there's a boy who goes missing okay which is Winona Ryder's son and during this whole ordeal there's an investigation going on with this company that's like an energy company energy uh but it's actually like a, a, a research facility and there's a lot of shady stuff going on there and during the time that this boy is is absent there's a beat down cop in the town it's a very small town one of those you know, country bunkin towns with like trailers and maybe population 1500, if that, because they didn't seem like that many. Um, and this, this chief of police really starts to find stuff out and, and it really starts to unravel and it unravels at such a fantastic pace. And the funny thing is, this is a kind of show, you know, it, it's, you can, you know what, you, you know what's going on. It's not unpredictable, but. What, what, even though it, it can be predictable as to what's going on, there's other things going on that, that just kind of, you, you're like, whoa, 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 what, what is this? What's going on here? And I don't want to give it away. I don't want to spoil it because there's not that there's any major twist. It's just, it's such a good way. The show is, paces so well and it unravels and answers your questions at such a good pace. It's not one of those shows that keeps that question up in the air till the season finale. No, it slowly answers your question little by little. In fact, at the midpoint, you already know the answer probably. You're probably already guessing the answer, but that doesn't take away from the fact that there's still very good suspense to happen. There's still very good events that occur over the course of the last half of the season. It just makes a very entertaining and a very fun show and a little spooky, a little scary. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Definitely some scary moments there. Um, and some, some nasty ones. <laughs> uh, my wife didn't want to watch it. There were some parts I made her cringe and some parts that scared the hell out of her. Uh, there are some scary parts, but again, it really depends on what you can tolerate. Uh, what one person might consider scary, another person may not. So I consider it more of a suspense sci-fi thriller. And the acting was really good. Winona Ryder did a fantastic job. The kids in this show, okay, there's a little girl. Uh, her real name, I believe, is Millie Bobby Brown. All right, I think she's like 10 or 11, and she played a character named Eleven, and she was phenomenal, phenomenal young girl that acted in this show. She's just great. And these other little boys, you know, there's a little boy on the show named Mike. He is the best friend of the little boy that goes missing, and he was a phenomenal actor as well. Even the teeny boppers, the, the teen portion of the show, which viewers tend to hate, I was actually into. 
there's a young lady, a young girl named Nancy. She's the older sister of um, of Mike, which is Will's friend. I was just talking about Mike. And she's dating this kid from school. And she, she gives it up. And, and, you know, she questions his love. And then Winona Ryder has two sons. She has her son that's missing, uh, which his name is Will. And then she has a son named Jonathan, who is a very, very mature kid, very introverted. Um, but she they, they know each other. Nancy and Jonathan know each other because William and Mike are good friends. And you're into this portion of the story because there there a, appears to be a love triangle there. And you're actually going to root one way or the other. Because Jonathan obviously plays a very pivotal role because he's the brother of the missing kid. And then the other guy, and I forget his name because, you know, I was obviously rooting for the other kid. But <laughs> but the other kid is not a bad guy. He he makes some mistakes and he appears to be an asshole, but he turns out to be a really good kid. And it's just a really good show. It's a, it's a really entertaining show. If you haven't seen it, I recommend it. It's only eight episodes. Um, from what I saw, it's gotten great reviews. I don't know anything else about the show. Again, I didn't read reviews. I didn't read up on the show. I didn't know. I don't know if it came from a book. I don't know if it's originally written. I don't even know if there's a season two, the way the season ended. It made it seem like that the seasons are going to focus on different stories in different places. That's, that's my assumption based on what I saw. So I don't know if the following season, if they're going to be fo- focusing on, um, I think their last name is Boy- Boy- Boylton. But uh, the family, the family of the missing boy, and um, but it's just a good show. It's a good show. It's it's not a ton, it's not a mind twister. It's not even hard to predict. It really isn't. But for a show that's not hard to predict, boy is it good. Boy is it good because in other areas, suspense, you know, that get you into it. You're rooting for these people, for all of them, the kids, the adults, the teens. <laughs> You're rooting for all of them, and also it's got a very good Matthew Modine in this movie. And, uh, you know, I, I grew up watching Matthew Modine, man. This is an 80s guy. And uh, to see him now, and he's he's the old man, and and he did good. He was he had a, a fairly small part, um, but for when he was there, man, he did good. I was like, wow. I didn't know Matthew Modine could actually scare me. <laughs> you know, he never struck me as somebody that was scary. So, But anyway, anyway, Stranger Things, great show. Takes place in the 80s. They did a fantastic job uh, with the set design and everything on the show. It's very 80s, even to the introduction, the introduction, the font scheme, the music, the little uh, cracks and all that and the very opening credits that make it seem and feel very 80s. Some parts reminded me of like E.T. Just a great show, guys. If you're into sci-fi, please check it out. Stranger Things on Netflix now, season one. And let me know what you think. If you haven't seen it, go see it. Come back in the comments. Let me know what you think about it because I loved it. I thought it was great. Anyway, guys, that's it for this review. This is Rob signing off for ETN, where we don't do news, we just talk entertainment. Take it easy. Thank you for watching ETN. Don't forget to comment, share, and subscribe. Join the nation's Facebook page to meet other subscribers or visit ETN's Facebook page and Twitter page. Links for all are in the description. You're watching ETN. Share and subscribe. Hey, guys, welcome to Entertainment Talk Nation. This is Rob. This video, we're going to do a review for... The first season of Stranger Things. Yes, the Netflix original, Stranger Things. And this was an amazing show. This was great. I love sci-fi. I love weird shit. And this was definitely that. And the ironic, the, the funny thing is this. I, I Look, I saw like a couple of commercials for this show. I really wasn't going to watch it. I wasn't. I was, it, this wasn't crossing my mind. Um, you know, I've been on vacation this week. I've been doing a lot of work, uh, trying to plan for the channel uh, during this transition where I'm, I'm doing a lot of live stuff and I'm also kind of somewhat rebranding. I have like a new logo in coming. So I've been doing all this work on the channel, plus trying to enjoy my vacation. I didn't stream this week very much like I thought I would because I went out and enjoyed my vacation. <laughs> it was me and my wife went out and we saw Ghostbusters and all this stuff and we went out this weekend. So uh, so my this this show was like in the back of my, my brain. I had like zero, not that I had zero interest. I just, it was like, oh wow, look at that, looks cool. And then that's it, just out of sight, out of mind. So the other night,